let's go over more examples here. Well, now we want to compute the permutation of three objects out of a hundred objects, everybody. So n is a hundred, r is three. Very good. Follow the formula. You have n factorial, a hundred factorial, which is a huge number, divided by a hundred minus three factorial. But this guy is equal to a hundred factorial divided by ninety seven factorial. Am I right? Does a hundred have ninety seven in it? Yes. Take a look. Here I have a hundred times ninety nine times ninety eight times ninety seven times ninety six times ninety five and the rest of them up to one. But this guy is ninety seven factorial divided by ninety seven factorial. Why I stopped at ninety seven? Because I already have 97 factorial on the denominator. I can easily cancel out these two numbers. What's left? Just the multiplication of these three numbers. 100 times 99 times 98, which is equal to, so let's do the computation. That's a huge number. 970, 200. So the number of ways that you can select three objects out of a hundred objects and write them in order is this huge number. Very good. Next example, let's make it a little bit more abstract. Suppose I ask you to find the computation, compute the uh, permutation of x minus one objects out of x objects. So take a look at this. My n is actually just a variable x. I don't know what that is. And r is x minus one. We just need to follow the same formula, am I right? On the numerator, I have my n factorial. n is equal to x. So I don't have any issue with x factorial on top. On the denominator, I have n minus r. So open your parenthesis. n is x, subtraction, subtraction. Your r has two terms. Write your r inside parenthesis as well. Not a nice marker. Let me find a better marker. Parenthesis x minus one, this is your r. And then close up the parenthesis factorial. Very good. You have to distribute this negative sign into parentheses. You're left with x factorial on top, divided by parenthesis x minus x plus one factorial. Okay, take a look at this x minus x is zero. You're left with one inside parentheses. I have x factorial divided by one factorial. By, by definition, one factorial is one. You have x factorial divided by one, which is equal to x factorial. 